the nightmare for Cincinnati happened on a Sunday afternoon in Maryland. Quarterback Joe Burrow injured his left knee in the third quarter of the Cincinnati Bengals game when he was hit in the pocket shortly after releasing a pass to wideout Tyler Boyd. Burrow was hit high and low by Washington lineman Montez Sweat and Jonathan Allen after throwing a pass, and his left leg bent the wrong way. Burrow couldn't put any weight on it as he was helped onto a cart. That's an injury right there to a team leader that can take the wind out of your sails, Bengals coach Zach Taylor said. It's not fun. He was making improvements every week, and we were getting the offense headed in a direction that we thought was exciting. Burrow was 22 of 34 for 203 yards and a touchdown before the injury. He was attended to by the training staff, consoled by current and former teammates then taken off the field on a cart. There is no official word on his injury, but Burrow later shared a tweet that suggested his season was done. He wrote on Twitter, see you on next yay. Immediately, social network Twitter exploding cause of Joey many in the NFL community took to social media to send their best wishes to the top pick of the 2020 draft. Patrick Mahomes said, prayers up. Joey B, Russell Wilson right, praying for you. Joey B, Quain Haskin said, love you bro, get well soon. While Joey Brow answers Michael Thomas, thanks for all love. Can't get rid of me that easy. See ya next year. Back to the injury of Joey, Burrow was on the ground writhing in pain as the Bengals medical staff immediately rushed to the field. A few moments later, Burrow was helped up and was unable to put any weight on his left leg as he was placed a cart. The entire Bengals team gathered around Burrow to show their support before Burrow exited the field on the cart. The Bengals officially declared Burrow out minutes later. Second-year quarterback Ryan Finley replaced Burrow under center, and he will presumably finish the year as the team starter. The initial diagnosis is Burrow suffered a torn ACL in his left knee. NFL Network first reported the news at the conclusion of the 20-9 loss. Burrow finished the contest 22 of 34 passing for 203 yards and one touchdown pass. The Bengals were ahead 9-7 when Burrow left the game with a little under 12 minutes remaining in the third quarter. His injury was the turning point in the game. That's an injury to a team leader that can take the wind out of your sails, Bengals coach Zach Taylor said post-game. The rookie quarterback's left knee injury was a debilitating blow for the Bengals, and they never recovered. Washington scored 13 unanswered points following Burrow's injury. Burrow was one of the most hit quarterbacks in all of football entering Week 11. The rookie QB was sacked 32 times in 10 games, that's the third most in the NFL. I hope he recovers soon because he's a hell of a player and it's been a lot of fun watching him play this first half of the season, so excited for when he's back," Finley said post-game. I think he's a competitor. I think he's going to be one of those guys that will be back before he's supposed to, whenever that is. Unfortunately for the entire Bengals organization, Burrow's rookie season is presumably over. The prognosis of a torn ACL is at least six months. Burrow's next snaps for the Bengals will likely be in 2021.